Nobody respect nice men, but they complain about mean and heartless men just to have an excuse to fight. Some people, they don't like you because you're nice. They want to take advantage of you. But at the same time, somebody else is doing opposite of you. They give, they give them more respect, but also they it gives them room to fight. They, they, are, they, they want trouble. They want drama. They want people like an excuse to do wrong. They want to, some people hang around environments where it allows them to hurt people, allows them to fight, allows them to war. So they don't like you and they don't respect you because you don't give them an opportunity to war. Some women are like that. Some women don't want to be in a relationship where they can't argue or where they can't play victim or where they can't have an excuse to cheat. They want to experience what some of these old fashioned sad songs, they want to experience that. They don't want to go through a whole relationship without any drama, without getting dogged and cheated on. They want the pain. They want the pain. They want the drama. They want the pain, they want the drama. That's why they don't like you. You don't give them a reason to, to be evil. You let them know how evil they are because the only thing you give them is a mirror because you're not reflecting the same energy that they want to expose, that they want to swim in. So they're able to live and see the high reflection of their evil because you're not giving, you're not a part of that energy. But if, but if you were heartless and mean, it gives them a reason to justify why they do the things they do, but they can't justify that. Well, they can't justify that. <clears throat> they can't even justify that. When you're good. See, you can't tell people too much stuff because they're jealous of you. What, what are they jealous of? Not only are they jealous of if you're happy, they're jealous of if you're close to God. Even though you're a sinner and they know you're not perfect, they jealous of your redemption. They jealous of your, your light. They jealous of your overcome, what you have overcome. That's what they jealous of. They jealous of your innocence, even though you're not perfect. They're jealous of your innocence, even though you're not innocent. Ain't that amazing? How you can't be innocent, you're not innocent, but you're so connected to God where you give off an innocent vibe, even though you're a sinner. Don't tell the left hand what the right hand doing. These people are not gonna celebrate with you and they're not happy for you. Let them see the blessing on their own. Don't tell them. Don't tell them about the blessing. Let them see the blessing on their own. They'll see. Because if you tell them the blessing, if you tell them your blessing, you think they're going to be happy for you, but they're not. They're going to find out, they're going to try to find a way how to either stop your blessing, take it from you, or how to try to make you feel bad about the blessing. I'm Alan Reed and stay prayed up in Jesus' name. Follow me on my Instagram at Alan Reed and Show. Link is also in the description box. On my Instagram, you can set up for a consultation. You can get the latest technique, how to magnify yourself to a beautiful woman in your choice for an experience. Also, if you want my latest book passage, Men's Guides, The Blueprint, message me on Instagram if you want those things. Press like, subscribe, hit the bell. Make sure you watch the next video all the way through. Okay? So much love to you. Subscribe to my other YouTube channel, TikTok, in the description box also. I'll holler at y'all later. I'm out.